All right. So help me out here. What is it that we're talking about today? Why do we have a one ounce gold bar? And so this? today we're going to be discussing bullion versus numismatics. Andrew had the idea about doing a video talking about numismatic coins, which is right here, and just straight bullion. up bullion, and which is better to own. You know what? We had this discussion a while back. Okay. I don't know if you remember about I the don't remember 333 anything. gold and the gold kilo bars. And I was actually oh, surprised. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was actually surprised that when we first talked about that, I was like, Ugh. I probably might take the 333 golds over the kilo, but I was surprised how no, many you, people in no, the comments. You went, you went. No, no, afterwards. I was surprised in the comments how many people also agreed with bullion. They wanted w bullion too. And, you wanted... Bars. and I think I threw it in your face the one day. And th these things, the premiums on the pre-33 gold went really low a couple yeah. months ago. They're starting to creep back up now. But the kilo bars were actually worth more money than than the pre-33 gold. You know, Then or now? Then. Now, now I don't think they're that too far off. But I, I think we were discussing raw. De raw. You know, it depends. Numismatics. I, I think of numismatics. I always think of graded. Yes. Uh, you know. Yes. So since we are talking numismatics and we are talking slabbed pieces, which do you think is better to own when it comes to for weight? Now, I know that this isn't a full uh, ounce. Weight, no comparison. This is You buy this all day long. But I'm saying, listen to the question. Let's hear it. Numismatic coins equivalent in weight to oh. gold bars. So which do you think is better to go with? The bar because people just want the cheapest and like just move it. It's an ounce of gold. That's it. There's no takes I, out all the guesswork. Yeah, but doesn't you know. the slabbed and graded take out the guesswork too? No. Like, you're never gonna know how much that thing's worth. You have to look it up every day. The price, the premium changes on it. You don't, you don't know. That's you true. Know. So, in what way is this better then? It just takes out the guesswork. Okay. You know, anytime you could look at your Kitco app or whatever, however you check your precious metals prices and like, that's what an ounce of gold is worth. But if you're you know? looking for the, um, the aspect of, let's say, return on investment. You what? You look at a chart, you know? No, I know that, but don't you think there's more money to be made? No, like, I, like I said, a couple of months ago when we did that, these went down in value significantly. These were... These were trading, uh, not graded. Graded's a little bit different, you know, but the raw, the un, almost uncirculated AU, they actually were below melt a couple months back. Yeah. You know, and like in that condition, ter terrible investment. Uh, if, if, you know, but this doesn't make it any easier to sell. I have this listed on my website at less than what it would cost you to buy from a wholesaler, right? It's been on here for three weeks. No one's no one's even batting an eye about purchasing it. Mm -hmm. I've probably sold thirty of them in the last week or two. So this know? is just a lot more uh, liquid. Yeah, it's just easier easier to move. That's for sure from a from a seller standpoint. From a seller you know? standpoint, this you'd have to search around who's going to offer you the most money for it. Right. You know. Right. Where this ain't going to fluctuate. Right. You're not going to get someone that's going to pay. So you said you know a, a significant amount of money over spot for this, and there's not going to be too much of a difference in price of where people are buying this. But at, now you said you from know. a seller standpoint, so I'm asking you from a buyer's perspective, which is better? You're going to pay more money for that one. I mean, uh, I, I don't know. I'm just a bullion guy, man. You just I would like go, I would go with that bars. all day long. All day long, I would take the bullion. Now, what about bullion like this? Versus like gold eagles, gold buffaloes, like sovereign government. I always push. Coins. I always push one ounce bars because they they they're not as bad as pre thirty three, but they always change. I like to tell you, eagles were at spot uh, when? A, a couple months ago, a couple of weeks ago. They were at plus point two percent. Really? It was like plus two or three dollars. What I don't the hell? Remember. What the hell's the difference if you had an eagle or a one ounce uh, bar? Plus, I like they come in the assay cards. This is like not going to get scratched up. You know what I mean? It's uh, What's that right there? Yeah, probably from you handling the fucking thing. Oh, yeah, I really <laughs> scratched this up. That's, right. That's in, a, in, a, in a hard plastic. It has a serial number on it. It has yeah. a serial number on the it back. It matches the you know. assay. Yeah. Do you like it in the assay? I do. You do like it in the assay. I like it in the assay. <laughs> <laughs> See these what I two, did there? These two, I mean, the, the, the slabs are nice, but you pay for the slab. Yeah. You know? I mean, I... I like the history on these. That right there is a 63. Yes. 
You know, if I would say if you're buying numismatics, at least a 64. Or higher. You know, yeah. I think all of the coins in my collection are 64s and higher. Um, When it comes to the bars, what's better, buying one-ounce bars or buying bigger bars? I know you have, like, the volume. Yeah, it's cheaper. You know, if it depends on your budget. What's you cheaper, have, buying one ounce? No, let's say uh, they have five ounce gold bars and ten ounce gold bars. You could, It'd be ten cheaper ounces cheaper buy than than buying five per ounce. Them, you know, and then the ten ounce bars would be cheaper than buying right. the five ounce bar or ten one right. ounce bars. You know, right? And do you stack for your own stack mainly one just bars. one ounce bars? One ounce bars. Do you wherever you keep your stack? Do you like look at it and like? Like ever, like no, just like yeah. Ebenezer Scrooge, not no. Ebenezer Scrooge, Scrooge McDuckett, like just like I didn't drop it on the ground and like I didn't know that weird <laughs> shit, man. Okay, I know how many ounces I have. It's stacked away. That's it. You know, I don't name it. I don't, don't look at it. it. <laughs> I don't look at it in the mirror. I don't, you know what I mean? Say I don't do anything to like each that. one no, individually. No, 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 no. Um, I remember I got like a deal. Like you could get on sometimes on like the retailer websites, they'll have stuff like this. Um, for like you could buy it at spot, like it's an introductory type of thing to try to like get the customer to like buy from them. Do you think now this is a better buy than jewelry? Depends on what you buy it for, but you know you gotta remember jewelry you can wear. You know that like you could wear this. Uh, not in the I'm surprised part, you, you can't, but you, you know? could. You could start a trend. Get. A gold border that would look really stupid around right? it, just and then really and then stupid. and then where a t-shirt that, says, I, do see I like the, it in the ass. I do see the one ounce pendants. People do wear that, but one ounce pendants. Yeah, that's I've silly. Seen, uh, yeah, people do it. That's so. silly. You could definitely wear it, but jewelry, you know, you can wear it. You know, no matter you know. Here we go. I only have these two chains on today. Yeah, what but, happened? Uh, You're light today. I'm light today. You're I just got. Like, I just got back from uh, vacation. I don't really five five. I don't really get too dressed up. I only have two. That on one, that 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 one looks like the one you're possibly selling me, but I know it's not <laughs> the one. The one that has like, the, dime, one the diamond ones. Um, yeah, but then with jewelry too, don't you have more of a premium in it because of like, like I said, depends the, on where you buy it. You know. So I Andrew, see, I see people selling jewelry pretty, pretty hefty cheap. premium. No, oh, no, no, hefty premium. Pretty That's what I'm saying. Premium. So those are more expensive. So Andrew's dead set on this. What about you? You dead set on it? No, I I like these just for the collector's aspect. If I'm, ta- it depends on what I want to do. If I want something that collectible and like you know show like oh look at this like to my kids or you know go to sell it or something like it's nice to have a variety. Liquidity, yeah. I mean, I get what you're saying. I obviously this is I'm all about the liquidity. I'm not really into like the numismatics. They're nice. That's a cool coin. Right. It's a lib. Yep. You know. Yeah. Uh, early 1900s. 1900 on the spot. 1900 on the nose. So it's 124 years old. Yeah. You know, it's cool. It's a part of U.S. history. But when you sell it, you got to shop it around. See who's going to pay you more. You know. Yeah. I, I would probably get three or four different prices before I sold it. Right. You know. Right. Or this, you could walk in anywhere and say, "Listen, the price of gold is twenty three thirty today. What are you paying me for this?" Yeah. You know. Yeah. All right. And any. And lastly, any brand in particular on the gold uh, bars? Always so generic. Stick always generic. Uh, Asahi makes nice stuff. He wants. The, like, he's saying cheapest possible. Yeah, whatever you can get. You know. Okay. The pamps, uh, everyone likes the pamp, but you see like, those. You see those like the Nike of precious metals. Do you, you see know? the Scottsdale? Beautiful stuff. The the eight point eight eight ounce no, gold dragon bar. No, I have to look that. It's up. like that long. I'm sure it has a hefty premium. Eight point eight eight. It's like twenty one grand, maybe. Comes in a wooden display box. Nice. And there, and it's like laser etched on there. Oh well. But that's like an expensive that you're paying. You're buying an eight. Almost a nine ounce piece of gold, and then you've got the premium of all the other stuff on it. But you know who makes nice bars? The Britannia bars. You ever see them? The one ounce gold Britannias. I don't think I've seen oh, the Britannias. Man. Are you going to get me one for my birthday? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Why don't we get two or three? Uh, that's, he's a very generous <laughs> individual. All right, so Andrew, he's he's still I'm says buy these. I I don't disagree, guys. Let us know in the comments down I'd love below. Love to hear. It. You know, when, last time we had the debate. A lot of people came to my side and said, "You know what? I take those kilo bars over those pre thirty three gold too." So I'd love to hear your uh, your guys' input. Absolutely, guys, and we'll see you next week on uh, Sunday, right? You got yeah. it. Have a good weekend, guys. Later, guys.